What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. I'm out traveling some card shows today, but wanted to get a video up. This was the PSA order. It just came back for me. I didn't have much into it. Overall, I did 50% PSA 10s, which was a lot lower than my normal. But um, a lot of it I expected to 9 to begin with. Only due to the fact of the cards that I'll talk about when I go through here. All right. Oh, one last thing. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by last night. The uh, Black Friday Extreme Packs. i seen some of the comments. I'll try to look into that next time that I do do that. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed last night. Everything has been shipped out. Minus one. It told me to hold it till Monday, and that will be out Monday. All right, guys. Let's get to the reveal here. So up first was a Bowman Draft C.J. Abrams Sky Blue Refractor. I expected this to be nine offhand, and... Mostly when I looked, it was a centering on the back. I figured it would get me, and there was a little bit of whiting up here in the corner. Time frame C.J. Abrams stuff was, like, going up. Not too sure anymore. And a lot of this stuff you guys probably won't see. It's going to go D.C. Sports just because it's a lot of base stuff. Eason, Mosaic, PSA 10, rookie. Too bad he is no longer on the Colts. Nine, same card. Jake Fromm, a lot of people had a lot of high hope for this kid, and I tried to grade a couple of his things, and lo and behold, nine. This is why I'm going to end up holding for the show. I take it back. One will stay back on me. This Lamar Jackson, just because he was a U of L guy, a lot of people look for these. But Men of Mastery, Mosaic, Mosaic, really a nice looking card, Gem Mint 10. It doesn't sell for much. They're now like 20 bucks, I think, something like that. So figure I'll just do it with the cash instead of anything else onto it. This one here, I expected a 9, a Genesis, Gabriel Davis. The last one of these, I believe, was over 300 bucks and a 9. So kind of happy. I mean, it pays way over my order. If I'm trying to remember what I saw, and I think it was whiting right down here. But still a nice card overall. He's Genesis. I like him. All right. Next one was another nine I knew was going to happen. This is the White Mosaic, Cole Komet. Not too sure on price value in this. I'm guessing they'll probably fetch 30 bucks, maybe 40 These were numbered out of 25 Maybe I'll get a little bit more. But I haven't heard much of him, so. Burrow, Mosaic debut. This one, pro uh, no, I'm just going to send this to you. Because I was going to put on my size, but a lot of this base stuff is starting to get real heavy now. I mean, these are always, I think the last one was around like 40, 42 bucks, something like that, that I saw. <clears throat> Clyde Edwards Hilaire, PSA 10. Another one of those. Last one with DC sold for like 20 bucks. This one here I was pretty happy with. I figured it had been a little bit more SP than Chronicles, but it really wasn't. The Kendrick Nunn rookie card. I want to say these were like 40-ish. I might be off on to it though. Now I did have one more card in the order. So on this past Monday, PSA called me in the evening my time. Called back, uh, a card went into assembly and got damaged by them. I had the option of either having it graded, the new grade would have been a 5. I could have an authenticated holder, or they told me they could just send it back like this and uh, give me the declared value onto the card, along with, you know, they wouldn't charge me for grading. So that's what I took offhand because... It would have had to gone back into assembly, the QA1, the QA2, and ship out. And I wasn't holding it over anything. And it was a Devin Vassell Tiger Stripe from Prism. And it's real hard to see. I pulled it out, and when they stuck it in to be crimped, there's a line that goes across the back here. And there was something else. I saw. Let me see if I pull it out here again. Normally, you guys don't touch cards in my hands, but something else I saw onto this. 
Yep, right up here. It lifted up the corner a little bit there. And right down here, there's an indention now. It goes across right here from where they crimped it wrong. So, I mean, I, was I mad? Yeah, not really. I mean, it wasn't a high-end anything crazy onto it to begin with. Um, you know, things do happen during the process of doing this stuff. It's unfortunate it happened, but they took care of me. And the other reason, you know, like I was telling a couple people when this happened, I wasn't upset because I've had so many cards that have gone over the um, declared value of what they're selling for to where I should have been upcharged. They never upcharged me, so I was not mad at all. So lesson learned for anybody out there, do not skim on your um, values on this. I did not. Just so everybody knows, I did not. Um, but they give you the declared value if they damage the card onto it. They didn't even look it up, nothing like that. Just went straight after their declared value because I'm pretty sure that's how their insurance works there. But overall, pretty. I'm happy with my grades. I mean, sucks on that card. But when, like I said, 5 for 10 on these. I do know uh, what that grade was. <laughs> but, you know, it, it is what it is on to it offhand. Not bad at all, though. Uh, you guys will see some more orders probably popping up. This was done on, it was entered into PSA system under enter date as of February 10th. So I know myself and CVC both have one more order each in this month that were like february 23rd so i'm guessing those will end up popping uh before christmas for sure and that should be it for the year for me for psa there may squeak one more in from the beginning of march but i'm not going to count on that cbc did get like 20 cards back i already packaged his up he'll do a reveal on his channel probably with them so be on the lookout for that all right, everybody, you guys take care. Have a good rest of the weekend. Hopefully your turkey day went well. And I will catch you all with uh, some video of the show. I might hit two of them tomorrow since this did come in today. I'm going to see how the time plays out because there's two different shows about an hour apart. But other than that, guys, take care. Catch you all next video.